Hello. As a veteran, you may have been asked to make on the spot life altering decisions. However, making decisions about your health and your goals of care should be made after having conversations with loved ones and your health care team. We are here to help. At some point, we must all consider what is important to us in our health care. These very important considerations will guide conversations about current and future goals of care and treatment. Having goals of care conversations with your team will help you, your family, and the team decide which treatments and services are best suited to you and your goals. Many of us already know what we want from our health care, but it is unique for each person. Setting priorities with your providers helps guide those choices. Easing symptoms is an example to make you feel comfortable. Staying independent and not being a burden to anyone. Curing an illness. Prolonging your life at any cost. Maintaining a quality of life. Supporting loved ones or caregivers. Meeting a specific personal goal. Perhaps a wedding, graduation, or taking a special trip. And being at home as much as possible. These are all decisions which can influence what treatments you might have. Talk about these things. It's very important. And it should be done now. Discuss your goals of care with your providers. It's the only way to inform them of your wishes. You, your family, and your team should work together to make the right treatment choices for you. It's based on your wishes and your medical conditions and which services and treatments will meet those two goals. You will also decide which treatments are acceptable to you. It's important to discuss life-sustaining treatments. Life-sustaining treatments prolong life, but also come with complications or discomfort, and all of this needs to be considered and discussed. Examples of life-sustaining treatments include CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, when your heart or lungs stop functioning, mechanical ventilation, when you need a respirator machine to breathe, artificial feeding and hydration, where a feeding tube is placed in your stomach, dialysis, when a machine does the work of your kidneys and filters a person's blood to remove waste products. Life-sustaining treatment discussions are unique to every person and can be difficult for some. Some may choose these treatments even when the prognosis is poor. Others will not choose them unless they're able to recover full mental or functional status or if they don't wish to prolong their suffering or dying process. While family, friends, religious beliefs, quality of life attitudes, and your values may influence your decisions. Ultimately, life-sustaining treatment decisions should be made based on meeting your goals and preferences. It's important to make choices that are based on what you want and the likelihood that it could be accomplished. You should also know that your choices can change at any time based on your condition. Your health care team can tell you more about these treatments, their options for your medical condition, and the likelihood it will affect your prognosis and outcome. Your health care providers will have this conversation with you. You should have the important people, including your health care surrogate or loved one there when you have them. These conversations can be done at any time on admission to the hospital, in the clinics with your primary care or specialty care physicians, when enrolled in a home-based care or community care living programs, and prior to surgery with general anesthesia. In the VA, these goals of care conversations will be documented in your medical record with special orders from your stated wishes about the kinds of treatments you want or don't want. You will be given a copy of this document, and it will be in your VA chart for all your providers to see, and it can be changed at any time. You may also have an advanced directive, which includes a living will, and that document will be good at any hospital, including the VA. As hard as it may seem to think about these things and to talk about them with your provider, please know that the VA healthcare staff are here to listen to you, support you, and your family, and answer all your questions. We are fully committed to not only providing the best care possible, but also to meeting your treatment goals and preferences. Thank you.